A Dawsonville man is the latest Georgian charged with invading the U.S. Capitol during the riots last month. But the FBI says Ben Tory admits he went inside but insists he didn't do any damage. John Shearick has the federal documents in the case. In all the violence and death of that day at the U.S. Capitol, a self-described patriot and enthusiastic Trump supporter named Ben Tory of Dawsonville, who was there, would speak of his experience that day as more of a once-in-a-lifetime adventure, according to an FBI agent's account of an interview with Tory later in Dawsonville. Tory excited, quote, that someday he could tell his children that he was there that day. Ben Tory, the FBI says he's 23, is facing federal charges. Agents tracked down Tory when a tipster recognized Tory on an FBI wanted poster showing people who were inside the Capitol. And then, quote, Tory admitted that he entered the U.S. Capitol building by climbing through a broken window and that the Capitol Police helped us in, did not stop, hinder, or do anything to keep people from inside the Capitol. And that police even posed with Tory and others for a photograph. The FBI says several videos tracked Tory's movements through the Capitol. At one point, Tory was with others inside the office of Oregon Senator Jeff Merkley, and hours later, Merkley posted on Twitter his own video of his office. Tore things off the wall, stole the laptop that was sitting on the table, so count this office trashed. Agents say Tory insists he had no part of any theft or vandalism, and they say Tory is heard on one video from Senator Merkley's office speaking to someone else. Ben Tory was granted a bond of $20,000. 11 Alive News is working to reach him or someone with his family in Dawsonville for comment. A list of Georgians facing charges in connection with the U.S. Capitol insurrection is growing. In addition to Tory, others include the so-called zip tie guy, Eric Munchell, and his mother, Lisa Eisenhardt. South Georgia attorney Debbie McCall Calhoun posted on social media that he was among the first to break into House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's office and Christopher Stanton, Georgia, who took his own life shortly after his arrest. A Kennesaw woman was also among those who died following the January 6th riot. Family members say Roseanne Boyland was a passionate supporter of President Trump, and they urged her not to go to Washington to hear him speak. The New York Times reported Boyland was trampled when the mob stormed the Capitol.